This is a very abbreviated version of the possibilities of uh, working with calendars inside Google Apps Scripts. So what I'm going to do exceedingly quickly is throw together a code that will allow us to take um, information submitted into a form that would be spit out on a spreadsheet and have it, uh, using that information, create a Google Calendar event. So I'm just getting set up real quick. I set up sheet, uh, which I standard always do, to be spreadsheet, active sheet. And then I set up for last row, um, get last row. So we have that. Now I'm getting the info from the spreadsheet. I'm getting in my form, the person would submit their name, the time, the date and time they want to start the appointment, and then the time they would want the appointment to end. As I'm showing you right there, name is column two. So that's why I do get range last row two, get value, all right? Start new date, start date equals new date. That new date is critical when declaring date variables. You must have it. Um, otherwise you won't be able to interact with them because they won't be date variables in the way that you would expect. So this end date, I'm gonna set it equal to new date. It is just to use for the uh, appointment end time, which you'll see in a second variable start time and this is again coming straight from the spreadsheet coming from the form they submit that is column five so we do last row because it was the last row submitted column five and then the end time straight from the spreadsheet last row column six and we're getting that value now the dates won't have the correct time attached to it the requested time it would just have zero or midnight so what we're going to do is use the set hours function for start date, set hours, start time, get hours. That gets the hours from the start time. It sets it to the start date. And then we're doing the same for start date, set minutes. We use that start time, get the minutes, and set it, set the minutes to the start date. That way the start date has both the day and time we want to start. End date, we're just setting to the end time. Since the end date is the same as the start date, we're just changing and updating the time to the requested end time of the appointment. Finally, variable event. This equals calendar create event. We're creating event on our calendar. And then standard stuff here, the name is gonna be the name of, uh, the person's name will be the name of the event, start date, end date. Ah, now I need to get the calendar ID, which I raced through here. There it is. I had a calendar already created. So I need to go ahead and add that right up here. Variable calendar equals calendar app dot get calendar by ID. It popped up for us. And then put some quotes in. There we are. Semicolon. I had a few bugs. Um, oh, well, first permissions. Yes, it's safe. Yes, allow bugs. So now this is me just going through and fixing the typos. Here we are. Uh, the bug was, ah, I didn't put dot, yeah, dot get sheets on the end of this. And then I capitalized get right there. Yep, so I need to fix that. Oh, and then I added an S to end times. So pretty standard little typos. All right, save, debug. And there it is, our event was created. We would just need to add a trigger to have this run automatically.